Hello everyone, this is Scott and I want to show you a photograph that NASA has edited. It's true. Okay, what you see is the two versions here. One is the edited version that they released to the public. And uh, two over here is what it was before. This is the original. This is the edited version. The original and the edited version. So that's a little strange to me. Uh, that NASA would do something like that and release it to the public this way. Now, we're looking at the moon uh, Triton way down here and the planet Neptune, okay? So, they wanted to show Neptune and the moon Triton, but this is the photograph that they showed. So, uh, what I'm wondering is why, ethically, they would break those kind of ethical rules and let alone moral rules. Uh, it's not like NASA to do those kind of things, so I thought. But uh, apparently it really is, because this isn't the first photo I ever found. This is like uh, four or five, six. Um, I don't report them all. <laughs> the very next photo had a little editing too, right after this one. So um, let me show the, you the original source. Now the original source to this is right here. It's the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and you can see the photo right here and I downloaded this this one right here it says three megabytes and it was taken in 1998 so this is an old photograph this is proof that NASA was using Photoshop way back in 1998 uh, you can't see it it's at the bottom down here but it does say 1998 10 30 okay so uh, that is pretty awesome evidence so all you do is you download this one and it comes out to this this is the photo pick it up and move it onto your desktop move it from your desktop to here now what we're looking at here is my photo program to uh, show you how this is all done and uh, come over here all we're gonna do is adjust color I mean bright brightness sorry uh, light I'm adding a lot of light here this is like the third or fourth time I made this uh, video, so uh, and it is at the end of a Friday night, so a lot of people are out partying, having fun. Me, I just had a hard day at work and uh, a lot of screaming kids and everything, and, and uh, so I'm a little tired on a Friday night, but I'm doing this anyway because I know you guys are waiting for it. Uh, this is just added light to it. I just did. I just added light, nothing else. So if I make this larger you can see that there is marks all over it there are marks all around and that's just really strange look at these brush marks what is brushing this why are there brush marks all the way around look at this see that brush mark it's like someone used a paintbrush or is someone brushing off the lens of this satellite camera with a how do you do that though in deep space how do you brush off a lens camera lens of a uh, lens of a camera uh, but this is really strange and it's almost like there is some kind of object here hidden between Titan and Neptune okay here's Neptune here's Titan and there's this long stream of something right here can you see that there's like a long stream of something now I'm gonna try to adjust that with sharpening uh, normally I wouldn't do that but here we go you can see this long stream something is there and it's like uh, NASA is trying to cover it up NASA doesn't want us to see it whatever it is it does look like some solid objects there and put it back to normal okay so that is the photograph that was original the original photograph of planet Neptune and its moon Triton down here uh, but this is the one they turned over to the public. This is the one that you and I are allowed to see. So NASA is is claiming these to be scientific fact, and these are going down in history uh, as uh, you know the first photos ever taken of Triton and everything. But uh, the truth is, uh, the truth is they altered it. If they altered that scientific data then they are altering history itself. They shouldn't be allowed to do this. You're not supposed to change scientific data. Scientists don't do that. But scientists at NASA do. 
Okay, this is Scott C. Warren of ET Database. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll make more videos for you very soon. Thank you very much.